good morning, folks. I've only been 32 years old for about five hours, but the universe is already giving gifts to the observers. Are you ready? Over at spaceweathernews.com, let's begin with the filament I told you yesterday could erupt at any moment. Waited about two hours after the news was posted and then lifted up, released, and erupted. Luckily, most of the ejecta goes up and north instead of directly out at Earth. The CME was small anyway. That was lucky. Even without solar flares, we do need to watch for other types of space weather. Some small sunspots were actually just born overnight there. I see you. Three interesting features incoming on the south. Top opening carved out of the corona due to the IMF of the coronal hole. Bright umbral magnetic fields in the middle. And a plasma filament below standing up and making coronal cavities. Coming to the solar wind. Purple, speed, dropping out fast, leaving our magnetic field very calm, but opening the door for the lithosphere to rumble. Two aspects of the northern coronal hole occupied the Earth-facing fourth of our star over the last day, and yesterday we kicked in the alert locations for earthquakes more specifically. Now that Alaskan energy zone was fading fast throughout the evening, and we shifted it to a blot echo zone near Sumatra. If Alaska does jump, it would have to be when the sun was high in the sky today. But alas, the only area that had earth spots and blot echoes was Japan, and they took what the USGS is calling a 6.2 this morning, but which rang as high as 6.6, .6, and that's three human seismologists, two of them from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, and I tend to trust them the most. This is yet another location hit, and in the first 36 hours of the watch period. Top news starts here. Last week's Greek quake was foreseen electromagnetically. This is probably the 10th or 11th similar paper I've seen on these critical similarities with pre-seismic energy. NASA has released an astounding article on waves from sunspots, and I would like to mention that one of the authors is a member of our website, where if you click premium and then scroll down past the main sections to electric earth and sun, website members have access to these videos, and in the very first one, we break down different instances of these same sunspot waves, what we call the heartbeat of the sun. Those videos are from 2013. Can you believe that was not our top story? Folks, it's official. Last year's late June geomagnetic storm was nearly the end. It took down our planetary defenses, caused a two-hour cosmic ray storm. And folks, it absolutely triggered those six Pacific cyclones, the air traffic shutdown of New Zealand, and the frying of the solar impulse plane's batteries. Between this and the President's executive order on space weather, you now have two very powerful reasons that you are not crazy for pumping earthchanges.org. Sure, there's a bit of showmanship, but hey, physics needs it. And every event described there was real and absolutely as related to the solar storm as we thought. Between Obama's order and the actual facts of what happened, you can now approach anyone with the tools to break through a conversation. Lastly, folks, best presents of all are those signing up for the conference in April. Remember to celebrate my birthday. We're giving you guys a gift when you sign up. 60 free days on the website and a chance to win a copy of our new book coming soon, The Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. Hope to see you there. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.